I'm back, baby. Make way. Originally written September 6th, 2016. Remastered February 19th, 2024. That big Spanish fly trap has me in its grasp again. I turned around in my call desk chair and I see the suckers of the bottle walking the floor. Those true heroes are swallowing their pride, visions of the future in paradise to get that next donor in. We gamble with our lying lives, throwing the dice we crafted with our own sweaty fingers. The stars after work align in the Tucson Weekly when they put my poem on their front page. And after the wings and the crafty meal doing the right thing, I see the population doing right by me and not buying my poetry books. The crossroads and the wash behind houses have brought me to the flaming circle pit of dust. And under the blue cooling moon, I am now given massive comfort within the dark wind. This is where I picked to work again at the Red Cross. Between sitting at home, cleaning for hours on end, and drinking coffee at 6.30 p.m. So this is where I am, alongside my brother taking calls and begging for blood donations. I was drenched in gasoline and mud, then baptized in mental bat beatings by this computer screen and the stress of strange voices. The calls I was begging for at home for a paycheck are now sinking into my skeleton. I turned my head after a call so I could pray for that good fire and try to hold on to the spark off of that serum. I tried bidding the demons and spicy Friday nights goodbye, but that's like having the salmon try bidding farewell to the spatula smacks and the awful and painful seasonings before that all enlarging mouth. I see these temp agencies prey upon us, these scavengers in the air holding the flight paths. Sometimes the call centers feast upon us, sometimes they get sucked up into airplane turbines. I spoke with my new co-worker Nicole about her taking her child to kindergarten. I told her I'm still not sure if I want to have any kids. I drive home in the pain and lonesome beers that sit and laugh from the fridge as my sagging eyes close after a long, long shift. I get up and sit on the couch where my phantom children beg for attention in the quiet of the night. If someone wants to carry boulders up the hill to the devil's mouth, then go and be my guest tomorrow while I clock out for lunch.